Humberto, it's so nice to have you with us. It's and a thank pleasure. you for joining the program this week. It's a pleasure. I feel very honored with that. Terrific. Um, we do a program as part of the Center for Online Innovation and Learning called COIL Perspectives. And uh, in doing this program, we've uh, come up with a series of three questions that we ask leaders such as yourself to answer. And then we're able to look at the results by, by questions. So the three questions have to do first with um, your vision and perhaps hope of what uh, education may look like in three to five years. Uh, the second question has to do with what barriers you might see to us getting to that vision. And the third is the leadership skills that emerging leaders would need to be successful in moving that agenda forward. So if you don't mind, let's start with the, the first one. Um, what do you say? I know three to five years isn't real far out, but it's far enough out. Do you, do you see change? Do you, do you hope for change for us moving forward? Uh, what I'm seeing is that e-learning and distant learning will be more collaborative but based on the standardization. So I see a war, like a one war, to start to think global instead of international, mm. uh, but with clear rules to make a, I don't know, maybe like a big course crowding mm. cloud. Course crowding, yes. No, so I think that we, the only real barrier right now is the language. But at the same time, it's a huge opportunity for everyone. Mm -hmm. So what I'm seeing is a common space mm -hmm. that everyone, everyone could collaborate. And at the same time, we could translate not only the content, but also the learnings. Yes. So you selected one word. You said there was one word, and you selected uh, global globalization rather than internationalization, which I, I, I really appreciate because it forces you to see the world as one place. Is, yeah. it, and that's what you're describing is sort of one community with opportunities in it for our learners. Yeah, I, and I see because there is one time that there is a big effort to have only one language, the Esperanto. Yes. But they don't consider all the cultural stuff around that. But talking about lo knowledge, knowledge is free. And knowledge is for the humanity. Right, right. So what I'm seeing again, it's only one worldwide mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. with many different faculties, mm -hmm. but probably is not a, like a verticals right. from uh, knowledge area. Right. But it's more like a country based mm. sharing. Mm -hmm. no? That's very interesting. So what, what's your thought about what would inhibit us from getting to that vision of, of a global university, if you will? What, what things would be uh, barriers? I could be the first one, and because we are humans, mm. and if we want to put it this kind of standardization, I must say that policy could be one of the biggest barriers. And uh, the second one, probably infrastructure in terms of what kind of technology mm -hmm. is available for everyone. Mm -hmm. Not only in an online perspective with high speed connection, computer, laptop, uh, but also all the infrastructure around in so the learning yeah. space, exactly. Yes. So, um, and the third one I could see is uh, well training people to do that. So talking about resources, uh, it could be policy, infrastructure, and people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see the money as a problem mm. because there is a lot of resource right now. Right. But like in the universities, we just need to be like uh, very wise and right. reallocate the resources that we already have. So I don't see the money will be a, an issue. Okay. So uh, in our institute this past week, we've been dealing a lot with um, leadership challenges, leadership development. And I'm wondering if you think that there may be a unique set of skills or competencies that today's leaders need in order to be effective as they move into, the, into this future. Oh, my goodness. Um, I know we covered a lot of territory, so. Yeah, but, but uh, probably it's another war that I learned uh, a, a few days ago that is global. Local. Oh, no? Mm. So from the strategic and the operational mm -hmm. uh, part, it's 
think like a global community, but do local. Yes. I like so that. we we could have this kind of global share content, mm -hmm. but at the same time you will need some local academic support. Yes. yes. And not only academic, because I think that I see a world mm -hmm. with university is not the only one that um, embrace the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now with the baggage and all that kind mm -hmm. of new technology, knowledge is everywhere. Mm -hmm. So how can I probably see as a leader, I, I still think that it will be global, mm -hmm. but at the same time I need to do in a local way. So one of the learnings that I have in, the, in, in my past jobs and also in this new responsibility is think big, start small and act fast. Yes, yeah, I like that. Uh, and that's a, uh, a theme that, that ran throughout the program of how as leaders trying to affect change, we need to pick our heads up and look at the larger scale and not be so focused on, on looking too small. So I really like the way you put that, thank you. No, it's, it's a pleasure. Yeah, so Umberto, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure. And I look forward to working with you in the future. It will be my pleasure and an honor. Thank you. Thank you.